everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a page that I have done in my little Jane Davenport watercolour art journal and I'm using a bunch of Jane's stamps um, in, in it to create my image. So the first stamp that I have is a face stamp. Um, it's one of Jane's older sets and it's got a set of four in there. I actually had a had a request on how to um, draw hair on onto the faces so hopefully um, this will help. So what I'm doing is um, where where the face lines are and there's a couple of other little parts that are that are dropping off I'm just extending those lines in to create uh, my lady's hair and you can see I'm trying to draw a body there and it's yeah it's not very awesome. <laughs> but I tried so I've got lines here going there everywhere but it all works out in the end so her body's not that crash hot but you know so far so good it was more about the hair in the in this one so um the stamp has actually got a couple of little bits off the side that you know that help extend um in to start you off with the hair so hopefully yeah, you get my meaning there. So I'm just adding in a few little flowers into a hair. And the ink that I'm actually using is an archival jet black. So the reason I'm using that is because it's actually a waterproof um, ink once it's dry. So I've just heat set it just to, just to hurry it along. I've also got some of Jane's finishing line pens. So I'm just think, thick, thickening up some of those uh, lines that I've got there. Uh, just to help define where her body is, where those arms, <laughs> which are really funny looking arms, um, are, and some of the thicker lines in her hair. So I'm going to be using Jane's three watercolour palettes. So I've got the brights, the skin tones and the sea glitz. Um, so I'm kind of going for maybe an underwater type theme. So maybe my lady is a little bit of a mermaid. So what I'm doing is I'm using the um, the complexion type colours in the neutral palette, uh, just adding in some shadows around her face, um, where the shadows would be under her chin and around her face. I've already said that. Anyway, that's okay. So um, where some of the bigger puddles are, I'm just mopping that up with a little bit of paper towel um, because I don't particularly want those colours to run out past where the face lines are. But you will see in a minute that pink flower is leaching into where my skin colour is. I should have waited for it to dry a little bit more before I started doing the flowers. But um, you, because it's watercolour, you can actually um, wipe it wipe it away so it's less noticeable but you know I did that and it was obviously still wet and <laughs> the puddles run but you know it doesn't look too bad besides watercolors just do what they want to do there's yeah there's nothing really um that you can do you know they're just going to go where they want to which is really quite nice so I'm just adding in some little cheek colour into my lady. Um, I've done a flowers in one of my favourite colours there out of that Brights palette, um, the real bright fuchsia. I can't think what its actual name is, but um, they had they all do have um, cool colour cool colour names. So with her dress, I've just used a couple of the greens out of the. Um, sea glitz palette and again once she's dried off a little bit I'm coming back in with some darker brown around the side of her face just to help bring in those shadows and highlights um, you know that we all have but of course my because my colors are still wet the um, they, they tend to bleed into each other a little bit. I'm a little bit impatient, hence the, the heat gun to help speed up the drying process a little bit. So I'm coming back in with some more cheek colour and I'm going to add in some purple into those pretty flowers and I'm mopping up the puddles as I go. So I'm going to start on her hair now 
and I'm going to go with a kind of a yellowy, orangey colour is what I was planning on. But the first yellow that I picked out is quite, is really bright and I wanted it to be, I don't know, not quite as bright yellow as that. So I add in some of the um, other colours out of the gold palette. So I've got, I think it's mango, and then there's the orange one right over on the far side. I'm using that one as well. So as you can see, it's really bright, really bright yellow, and there's no um, highlights or lowlights or any contrast in into the hair at the moment. So I'm just coming in with a bit of the orange, but it was a little bit too much. But anyway... It's, it ends up looking quite cool, I think, in the end. So I'm just trying to drag some of that yellow and orange, mix it in a little bit, help lighten up some of those colours to get the highlights and, and um, um, you know, darker parts in, into, our, into our hair. So a little bit darker around where the flowers are and around the side of her face, around the ear. Okay, and I've also got a little bit of brown there to help bring in some of the um, extra highlights. So you can see it's starting to change and look a bit more interesting now. So I'm just popping in some whites of her eyes and I'm using one of Jane's paint pens there, but it's not quite white enough for me. I haven't got her new one, her brand new ones, the Storytime ones, but I do have the Storytime um coloured ones so with the whites of her eyes I've just used a Posca good old Posca paint pen I love them they're actually really nice <laughs> I've got hundreds actually so I'm just drying off her hair so I can start working on a bit of my background now I'm only working on one side of the page today because I hadn't quite decided what I wanted what I wanted to do on the other side so I've left that for another day so again I'm using the greens and a little bit of the blue um, out of the sea glitz paint palette so all the, the three or four five different greens no there's four there's four different greens in there so I'm going to mix them all in together and I'm also going to add in some of the blue so I'm just mopping up some of the bigger puddles in there um, this is one of my favourite parts to do is like the backgrounds with watercolour because you can get such interesting and um, amazing effects with just the way that it dries. So I've just added in a few drops of water onto a hair and that will create some, um, some really light patches. So I'm just going to let that pretty much dry by itself but when it's almost dry I pop a bit of paper towel over the top just to get it completely um, dry so you can see I'm working on the background again and I've got a little bit of blue in there I'm dabbing a bit of water here there and everywhere um, you can see where I've just wiped those puddles up and it's got those lighter parts into a hair now so that looks that looks really cool so I'm just going to dry it off and then I'm going to bring in my magic ones. Um, these are Jane's colouring in pencils. I really have found of late that pencils are great for adding in different highlights and different features into your um, artwork. I guess um, I had a lesson from Tracy Scott a couple of months ago when she was here in Australia and she's got me hooked on Prisma pencils but I decided to use my Jane ones because I'm mostly using Jane um, products on this page and um, I thought well I'll just you know I'll use them so I'm just adding in a little bit more of skin colour a bit more brightness into her cheeks trying to um, tidy up her arm her, her funny looking arms and of course I come in with purple um, I guess when Tracy was here, like we did all our shading with um with purples and <laughs> I just kind of stuck with it. So a lot of my shading on my face is uh, are in the purples. So just adding in a little bit more skin colour 
and I've put some of the brown in through her hair so it looks like she's got some other highlights and things happening in there which looks pretty cool. Um, adding some extra details into her eyes. I've got my Posca pen again just adding in some white little highlights a bit more brown around her face. Uh, it's possibly a little bit too much brown yet so I've got my um, my fancy eraser there to rub some of it off so I really like that eraser actually it's a it's an electric one so you don't have to work too hard and it's got a nice little fine tip on it as well so yeah all those little bits you can you can get out anyway I've just about finished um, the last thing I'm doing is adding in some gold highlights into a hair with one of my little favourite thingies. I'll give you the recipe down below in the in the description box. And um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching today. I hope this has answered some questions. And um, if you've really liked my video, I hope you like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, bye.